numb came from from a club that we used to run in Wilkie House in Scot in Edinburgh. I'm Scottish, so like comedy is like it's part of our culture, you know what I mean? When I when I was growing up in like the 80s in Scotland, you had to either fight or be funny. I don't think I've ever actually sat down and wrote a joke, ever. I'm much more of a storyteller than a, than a comedian. I just tell stories about being fucking mad and stupid things that I've done. And we'll do again, probably. A guy called Logan Murray was coming across to do a three-day intensive professional comedy course. And I fucking hated it. Like, I hated every minute of it. It was the, I felt so uncomfortable. It was like at the beginning of the course, everyone was like, okay, now we're going to learn how to play. And I'm just like, fuck off, you cunt. And that's when it clicked in my head. I was like, oh, I can just make it up. And everyone was fucking pissing themselves laughing. And then, and then like a month later, a month later, we started our first big comedy show. So I was just talking about anal probing and shot and ray gun weddings. And like the, one, of the, one of the aliens uh, turned out to be my wife and uh, her in-laws coming to meet my family and my mum being pissed off that there was, there was crop circles in the vegetable garden. That was like nine, eight, nine years ago or something. And, and, I, and now, now I've got my own stage. He's got a bit of an advantage because he's Scottish. Whoever bought the tickets, take that card. I did see that. <laughs> when you fill that card up, uh, you get prizes. Um, it seems like it seems like I've known Neil forever. Uh, I like him. I really like him as a comedian. I find him really funny. I know his bits. I still laugh at his bits. He's got some funny shit. I don't think he realizes how funny he is. He's fucking good. He's good at what he does. I also like working with him because I trust him, which is like, it's hard in this business. Neil's really not got much of an ego as well, which I really appreciate. favorite sets I've ever done in my life. I'm like, I really enjoyed it. The kind of re that was the first time it kind of like dawned on me that it was our stage as well. It was like, I, we used to do this show called The Fishbowl years ago. And I liked, it. it's the first show I ever hosted. It was like this big stage and it's, yeah, I felt really comfortable. I was like, okay, and the audience was great and everyone was like laughing, it was good. That was loads of fun. Every Scottish person's a comedian, you know what I mean? And that's like the when I when I was growing up in like the eighties in Scotland, you had to either fight or be funny. Like you, if you weren't fighting at football, you had like you had to either be a DJ or be funny. That was the two. So obviously, I became a DJ. To be, to be fair, I was never a very good DJ, but good at running parties. But the and then Alan was running these big parties all over Scotland, and with this big sound system that he built, big eighteen k outdoor sound sound rig. I went from like not like no DJing at all, like just starting running the club, to suddenly running an elevator sound system with Alan, and and, then if, and so the, I learned to be a DJ by warming up at all these parties. In der Not, da fährt der Teufel schon mal fliegen und trinkt Sachen, die lässt man besser liegen.
humans are like like growing food is a one of our it's a thing that that created civilization you know what i mean like the domestication of crops was the cornerstone that and, and it being structuring language these are the two things that that built us as a, as a as a built humans i don't know if you if you've ever grown a like a marijuana plant and whether you smoke weed or whatever i don't care about the but when the if when you watch a weed plant grow and it's like it's fucking fascinating like they've it's such a beautiful vibrant plant when you when you and chilies are the same they're like if they when a chili plant grows it's like beautifully symmetrical with like the best the best green colors i've ever seen have been on chili plant leaves they're just like like mad and a chili plant to watch a chili plant grow is like beautiful and then the payoff can hurt you that's pretty hot man like the end, the end of the chili is like if you grow a Carolina Reaper, physically the, 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 the fruit can fucking damage you. I think the pandemic just happened to coincide with us having chilies and that's, and that was interesting. But without the pandemic, there would be no chili festival. There would be none of it. It's all thanks to the pandemic, really. And, and me being locked in the house with nothing to do. This is some of the best hot sauce I've ever had. Try this one. Okay. This is delicious, man. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Now it becomes too difficult here? because... Yeah, now one I don't is, know how to taste it. More, <laughs> this is the best one you have. This is one of the best hot sauce I've ever tried. It's absolutely oh, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> it's, got, it's, got a bit, it's got a bit of a heat, but... It's, and then one of the branches was snapped and it had Carolina Reapers on it. And I was like, just tidying it up and my thumb went through the pod. No. And I never thought about it. I never just like, never thought about it. And then, and then about, and about a half an hour later, I went to the toilet and touched my, <laughs> my touched my thumb. <laughs> and, then, and, and then like 45 minute journey. And, like, just like, and it's nothing you can do. You can't dip it in yogurt. You know what I mean? You're like, <laughs> I am the project of me so that if you don't like who you are, you need to recreate yourself. and. I know, I like, I've for years just done what the fuck I fancy. I've walked away from huge companies, just like got bored, like making stupid amounts of money and just got uh, bored. And then just giving away the companies, like, because I'm just like, well, I can't bother. Pass on really good ideas to loads of people and help them develop their ideas and want nothing in return. This is powerful shit, man. All right, come with me. Come with me, lads. I'd like to spend a year going round like uh, chili farms and the fucking like go back to Peru and Brazil and go back to and spend a year going round all the chili farms finding like tasting and getting a local hot sauce and like but there's no reason why it all doesn't tie in together. There's, you don't need to give up one to do the other. So. Chilies. Those are chilies. <laughs>